everybody, I'm Lily Rose and welcome to a new video. Today I want to show you how to create your own pins. And the best part, you get to recycle. And I think they actually look like the real deal, like those real enamel pins. I love projects where you get to recycle something. And this one is super easy and you get the chance to repurpose some old disposable aluminum trays that you probably would have thrown away. And you get to make an infinite number of designs, whatever comes to your head. Or maybe you saw one that you really loved on Tumblr, for example, and you have no clue where to get it. Well, now you can do it yourself. But before we get to the video, as always, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoy the video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And now, without further ado, let's start. First of all, you will need an aluminum tray or plate. I always have a bunch of these to throw out whenever I order food, so it was awesome to be able to repurpose them. And of course, you will need your designs. You can both freehand them or just print out some designs. To make working easier, I cut out the flat parts from the tray, since those are the easiest to work with. However, if your tray has some indents or like print like this, don't worry, we can still use that part. Get a card, any card that you have lying around and use it to smooth down the surface. You might still see a faint shadow of the indents, but don't worry, you won't see it in the finished pin. Cut out your design and find the best way to position it on your aluminum piece. When you have it, use some tape to make sure it stays in place. Next up, we will trace out the design. For this, I use nail art dotting tools that I have, since I could change between sizes. If you have these, I recommend you use them, it's so much easier. If you ever thought about getting them, I totally recommend there's so much you can do with them. And they're super cheap on Amazon. I link them below. And well, if you don't have them, don't worry, you can also use, for example, a pen or an orange stick. Anything that is pointy but kind of blunt at the same time. Okay, that sounded maybe a little bit contradicting. But what I mean is, you want it to be pointy enough that you can trace out the design but it's not too pointy because or else it will just pierce through the aluminum. By the way, you have to do this on a soft surface. I actually used some craft foam, but you can also use, for example, a towel. After removing the paper, go again over the same design, making sure you really press that outline into the aluminum. But be careful to not tear through. I'm gonna be honest right now, some of the designs that you see here did not really work on the aluminum and I basically just dropped them. Especially for small details, it's better to skip them or just find a workaround. For example, I had originally traced out the sprinkles on the donut, but that didn't work at all. So I redid the donut and skipped the sprinkles. The cactus, for example, didn't work at all because of all the lines that were so close to each other. Now turn around the aluminum piece. This will be your front, so the lines of the design are the ones sticking up. Now with the rounded object, go around the lifted outline from the design. Basically this will help you accentuate the outline and also create those typical outline metallic lines that you see on pins. Do this all around the outline, so also on the inside part, go over it to flatten it down.
Next, you will need some strong and thicker kind of glue, like E6000. This will allow us to create a strong back to the pin, so it holds its shape. And make sure to not apply the glue to the front side by mistake. Technically, you could also use normal glue, but it will take you forever, since, you know, school glue tends to dry quite thin, and we really need to create thick layers. Even with this glue, I had to go over it a few times. By the way, I also don't recommend using hot glue. With this glue, since it stays liquid for a bit, it drips into all the nooks and crannies. And that's what will help the pin stay in shape. Do this a couple of times until you have a nice flat back. By the way, if you wet your finger in water before, you can use your finger to work the glue. Up next, I use nail polish to paint the pins. It gives you that shiny clear surface like typical pins have. Be careful to not paint over the inner outlines. I mean, if you do, don't worry, you can still correct it later with a brush and some nail polish remover. And now, cut out your pin. I have to warn you right now, be careful with the smaller aluminum pieces. They are like splinters and they can really poke you and get into your skin and it hurts. Speaking from experience. Clean off your work surface right away after you finish and the best is actually if you can use a piece of newspaper or similar and just roll it up and throw it away after. Now with the round object, just smooth the edges. To make everything super smooth and super shiny, I went over it with one of those top coats that kinda imitates gel finish. It's a little bit thicker and super shiny, but this is completely optional. Next up, because from the side you can see the glue edges a bit, I went over it with a metallic silver nail polish. To make your pin an actual pin, you will need to attach a safety pin to the back. For this, I used some hot glue since it's easier and it dries faster. I used safety pins because I already had them at home, but if you want to go the extra step, you can easily get those typical butterfly kind of clasp pins. They're really cheap, but my local store didn't have them. Again, totally optional, but if you want, you can add a coat of metallic silver nail polish to the back of the pin. And you're done! I made all of these in one afternoon. The only thing that I had to wait overnight was for the nail polish to dry. Seriously, they are so easy to make and you can make as many as you want. And at the same time also get rid of those aluminum trays that you were going to throw away anyway. By the way, what design would you make for your pen? 
write it down below. I always love to read your comments. And if you actually make them, tag me on Instagram. You can find me on Lily Rose channel. So like I said before, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I see you next time. Bye.